topic today is on battery installation on the Revic PMR. Okay, let's start by discussing the battery type and how the battery installation looks. So we've got a battery box right here on the eyepiece. You change magnification, it's also a throw lever, it's really nice and handy. Um, battery type, uh, you've got lithium and you've got alkaline. So alkaline works in a pinch, but the, the product uses a lot of energy. We've got encoders, we've got displays, we've got all sorts of cool stuff in there that, that, uh, that consumes power. Uh, with a alkaline battery, you know, an awesome shooting session for an afternoon, you're gonna have plenty of uh, power to manage that. If you want uh, a week or two weeks of power and standby, you know, the, the, the AAA lithium is gonna deliver what you need. It's got plenty of, of power to, to last through a two-day match on a weekend or, or to, to take on a 10-day hunt and use intermittently. So I recommend the uh, AAA lithium. So installation is pretty simple. The battery box just has a thread in cap on the back end. So just thread the cap out and then we'll install the battery. Now it's got uh, polarity protection so if you put it in backwards it doesn't hurt anything but it won't power up. So we want the positive end, so that's the male part, the positive end goes in first. So you place that in and then you take your battery cap and thread it in. So before I, before I put it in, I want you to take a look here real quick. There is uh, a spring and there's two O-rings. There's one on the back and then there's one on the side. So the spring is basically your connection. The spring doesn't support the battery in any way. Uh, what we want to do is we want to screw this cap in so that this rear O-ring is compressing against the battery. And we like a little bit of give because batteries swell and shrink based on temperature. Um, and then this last O-ring here at the back, this provides the sealing for the battery compartment. So we do want to have that sealed up. So as you thread this in, all you want to do is just watch that rear O-ring to make sure that it doesn't get pinched. If, if, it's, if it gets pinched, it'll kind of pinch out the side and you can see it make just a little bit of a bubble. Just back it out, uh, reset it, and try it again and it'll usually go in for you. So when you thread this in, the temptation is to just thread it in until it's snug because it's a little small and it's a little cramped space, but make sure you tighten that battery cap all the way until it's completely tight. That'll make sure that we maintain contact with that front O-ring uh, on the battery to hold it in place and make sure that we don't disconnect under recoil. So that's the Revit PMR battery installation.